Hello class, today we're going to read a story and then paint a watercolor inspired by the book. We're going to paint some goldfish. First what we're going to do is we're going to take a black crayon and we're going to outline our goldfish. When I was looking into the aquarium at the fish, I noticed that they were swimming around and I was drawing different angles. And the easiest angle is where the fish is just the side view. Can you see it right there? This fish right here is when I was looking into the aquarium, I could see his little belly. See his little belly there with his little mouth? When I was looking into the aquarium and this fish right here is when I was looking in the back. This is his the back side with his fin there where he's scooping up the food. This is the belly side coming up in the aquarium to, up to the top of the tank to get the food. And then this is the back side. Can you see that? Belly side, back side, and then side view. These are the bigger fish, and this is the smaller fish, and the story goes along with what happens when you feed too much food to a fish. They get really, really big. Okay, first we're gonna do the belly, side, sort of like a teardrop. This is the fin, and this is the head part, there's that fish, and then we have, this one is the same, teardrop, that shape, and then we have the side view. Those are the bodies of the three fish. So now for the belly side. Here are the eyes, just round circles, a round mouth. Num, 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 he wants to eat the food. And then we have the fins. Look like this, sort of like diamonds. And then the tail. Now for the side view. That shape, then we have the fin. Here's another fin. Round eyes, super easy. Sort of like triangles. Now for the head on. We got the teardrop body, now the tail. We'll make the tail like that. Then we have the fins are this shape. Whoop, that one's overlapping. Like that, and then the round mouth, round eyes. And then we have the fin. This is what makes it the back side is because this fin is here. Going here, sort of triangles. This is the belly side. See that? We have the two fins coming out here, the little mouth and the eyes. He's looking up at that food. And then I'm going to do some details here for his little tummy. And then just lines for the fins. Now this is the side view. See that? Triangles, tail, I like to, here's some more mark making for the scales, like that, just lines. And then for this one is the back side. See the fin coming up? I just kind of did a triangle, just lines like that. And I want him looking this way too because he wants to get at this food. Remember, just a pinch. Just a pinch of food. You don't want to give them too much. Now we're ready to do the watercolor. Oh, I forgot to do some detail work on the fins. That's all there is to it. I'm going to leave the mouth white and the eyes white. And it's really nice to have the eyeballs. Color them in nice and dark with the black because then they'll stick out really nicely add a lot of contrast. So I'm just going to get my watercolor all saturated, nice and loaded up with water. 
There we go. See how I'm swishing that around? Getting lots of orange. I'm going to start with the orange fish first. See that? Look at how it just runs right off that black crayon nicely. I'm going around the mouth. There we go, the fins. Like that. There we go, that one's done. Now for the little fish. Now for the bigger fish. Okay, now for the water. This is fun. Love to paint. Just go ahead and paint around your fish. In the story, along with the painting, we're going to discover the different sizes of fish. The small fish, and then they get to be bigger fish, and the different perspectives. A Fish Out of Water. I'm reading this because this was one of my favorite books when I was your age. I wanted to share it with you. It's by Helen Palmer, and the artist who illustrated it was P.D. Eastman. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him, and he likes me. I will call him Otto. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, never more than a spot, or something may happen, you never know what. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much, just one little spot. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto, he had to have more. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot, never more than a spot, or something may happen, you never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. Then something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow. I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fish bowl. There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said, this will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then you will be all right. I put him in a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon he was too big for the pot. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it, I grabbed him, I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. At last there, Otto, I said. This tub holds my father, this tub holds my mother, so it will hold you. Then crash, the door went down, crash, Otto went down. I went down too, oh, what a ride. Down went the water into the cellar, and down went Otto too. I had to do something fast, I grabbed the phone. The policeman came, my fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in a cellar. 
We will have to get him out. We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much? We will come at once. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him? I asked, uptown, downtown? Everyone get out of the pool. This fish is going in. Now I was happy. Now at last my Otto had water. This big pool would hold him. But Otto went right on growing and no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much? Then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him, but Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. He took his black box with him and all the other things too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. Then up jumped Mr. Carp. In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. They're begging. Oh, that's a lot. We're gonna have monster fish. That's too much, sweetheart. Look at that. No, no, sweetie. What are you doing? What did you just do? How, they're gonna get really big. That's way too much.